What's going on, Cardinals fans? Um, I don't really want to say about this game. Um, of this, I guess, embarrassing loss. Um, a score of, of 11 to 1. Um, and we cannot sweep the Rockies. Um, congratulations to them. They avoid the sweep. And they have, they had a fantastic game today. Um, um, it was just, it was, you know, one of those games where, um, the other team played better, um, and I was definitely what it was today, um, it was just, you know, there wasn't a whole lot to it, um, Rockies was getting one and up first, um, and the bottom of the first, um, but then, and then we would eventually tie at one and second. Um, but then the Rockies would have a five run bottom second inning. Um, and at first it would be Charlie Blackman who would have an RBA single. Uh, that would put the Rockies up two to one. Um, and then a couple batters later, uh, it would be Nolan Arenado at the plate who would have the bases loaded and one out. And he. Would have a grand slam. That's right. His fourth career grand slam. And home run number 38, I believe. Or no, I think 39 now. Um, fourth career grand slam number 39 for on the year of home runs for um, Nolan Arenado. So, I put the Rockies up 6-1. to one. Um, And when I saw that, I was pretty much like, even though it was you know, still early in the game, I still thought, and I was like, I think I think we're gonna lose this game. Of course we did, and it really 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 surprised me that we lost this big. Um, and then it would stay six one all the way until the bottom of the seventh. And your defense would actually play okay after the Nolan Arenado Grand Slam. Um, yeah, we would have uh, Luke Weaver was a starting pitcher, but he would only pitch two innings and he would put six runs. Um, but then later we would have a uh, Jaime Garcia pitcher in the game, and he would pitch three innings and strike out four, um, so not not bad for uh, Jaime Garcia. Um, and then, so then the bottom of the seventh it would be um, it would be DJ Lemayhu, who would have an RBI double uh, that would extend Colorado's lead to eight one. Um, and then next batter up with the runners at, at the corners with two outs, it would be John Murphy, um, who would have a three-run homer off of Jonathan Broxton. Uh, standing the lead to 11-1, round score. Um, so yeah, it's just, that's just pretty much all I can say about it. Not, not much else. Um, uh, offense is terrible. Um. Even though we actually didn't get out hit that bad, we got out hit 12, 12 7, I believe. Um, now, Guajara we had 7 hits, but only an only one run. Uh, but, you know, and I really thought that, you know, once it was 6 1, when the, after the Grand Slam, I just really thought that we would have some way to come back and, I don't know, tie it, but just, you know, get get more runs and really we're not even really close to even doing that um, so um, so we're off Thursday our final off day of the season um, and then we continue and play our final three road games of the season at Wrigley Field playing the best team in, the ba in baseball um, the Chicago Cubs so my prediction for that will be tomorrow um, and tonight, Giants and Dodgers in the rubber game. Um, Kenta Maeda versus uh, Matt Moore. And Vince Scully, the, one of the long, long time announcers for the Dodgers. Um, he's, near, he's nearly done with his career of broadcasting. He is 88 years old, I believe, and he will be retiring basically next week. So yeah, and Braves in the Mets game, 
that's tonight as well. Um, so yeah, so till uh, Cubs prediction. So till then, this is from Rafael Single Cards.